Hello everybody, uh, time to tie a fly again and uh, today we're gonna tie coats. Uh, a pattern I found in, in the book of uh, Farlow's. Uh, a pattern I've not seen uh, that much or at all to be honest. So let's begin. Uh, let's start. Um, first of all uh, extra small uh, oval silver tinsel uh, that we're tying in the back. I'm just gonna wax the thread a little bit. There we are. Now tying on the 5 hook, 5 zero. Tying description will be in the details as uh, yeah, I just started recently. My last three, four videos have the tying description in it just to make it easier. Few wraps, tight ones. So I'm gonna do three wraps there, three turns of tin cell. Tying in a bit extra just to make it robust. Somewhere like that. And the leftovers you can use for the next next fly. There we go. So um, funny thing here, it's actually green uh, silk. Quite rare. I haven't seen an other pattern having green so far, what I can recall. Uh, so I'm gonna start there. Green Japanese silk. Tying it in. Same here, attach it well. The fly will last longer if you intend to fish with it. That's why this one is fully gutted. From here until here. So, just untangle the silk. Just gonna cut the little bit that is left over here in the front. So, tight wraps going backwards. Then forward again. So over there, I'm happy. That would be sufficient. I think I do another turn. There we go. So just tying in a little bit extra of the silk. Gonna have a strong fly. There we go. Now 
we have a level difference uh, here. It's a bit higher than uh, in the front. So I'm just adding a bit of thread there. Just to give a foundation for the tying point of the tail. Otherwise it's gonna point upwards and ruin the whole fly. That's not really funny. So, tail time. I prepared one to save time. Now it's better. Have a good angle to it. We're just gonna tie in a little bit more. Somewhere like that. There we are. So, summer duck is the next step. So I'm gonna take a few strands. So, I take it from the other side since it's I haven't battered summer duck. So, I take it from the, the other side. That I normally never use, so it's good. There we are. So it's gonna pair them. Looking good. So next step is tinsel. And on this pattern, uh, it's flat silver tinsel and twist. So I'm starting with the flat. Just securing it. Again, and then start with the twist. Same there, tying it in properly. Silver time. This one specific need to have gold, gold and yellow. So I'm gonna blend yellow and sunburst. So just 
mix it between my fingers. There we go. So let me see how it falls here. From the picture I'm looking at, it looks like it has a yellow body icon. So I'm gonna add that here as well. It doesn't state in the pattern description. However, the, the picture is from Follows collection, so I'm gonna stay true to that. Partly at all. So nice yellow neck here. So I'm gonna try something interesting. Uh, since the next part of the body is magenta, I will. Uh, Add a magenta hackel on top of that, but still moving forward with the, the yellow, so to say. So it's going to be two hackel in the front of the body. I'm just quickly doubling the hackel. I'm just pulling down the fibers on one side. There we go. Time to tie it in. I'm just tying in the whole top of that and going backward again and continue add golden yellow sealed fur. there it's almost half then time for magenta but as mentioned we're talking about the body hackle there this one is much longer don't really like it But that's what I got. Oh, 
always keep a clean desk. I think it's quite important when tying classic summer flies. Same here, just pulling down the fibers. But it's, it's not the equal quality on this feather. Not sure if it's gonna be sufficient, so let me let me grab another feather because you want to have a few turns in the front to give it a nice look. Somewhere there. Yeah, let me try that one. <coughs> Oh, let's tie that one in. Just cutting the leftovers there. So there we are. So going back then to add the magenta silver. It's lucky having one bag with a bit of it. it out and I want to, I don't want to add too much in the front since uh, it's gonna be quite a lot of hackle and stuff there so I think that will be sufficient. Sorry for the share noise, I'm gonna make sure it's silent in the next video. So, then I just take the dubbing needle, because you wanna have a bushy fly, right? That's the whole point with silver. Quite bushy. So uh, tinsel time then. So 
I start with the, the flat one. Securing it. This one I'm gonna cut. And then the next tin cell going to follow. And here it's good if you can just rotate your eyes because you just wanna be after the flat tinsel no gaps really So, next step is the hackle. We get quite a lot. So, starting with this one, then. Just 
fold everything backwards. Cutting it in. So now it's starting to become colorful. And on the picture they actually added the hackle after the wing so to say so they put the wing and then uh, finish everything topping and then the hackle uh, but in this case I'm gonna do the opposite I think it looks nicer otherwise you don't see the work that you have done with the wing gonna find a decent feather there we go So I'm doing the same here, just pulling down the hackle on one side. It's gonna be nice combination, yellow, magenta and uh, light blue. Tying that one in as well. Few tight wraps. Leaving a little bit of space for the wing then. It's the last wrap. Oops, my bad. That's a too short magenta, okay. Remove that one. Now we have sufficient space for the wing. So 
So yes, Captain, that one. Yes, adding some a few wraps of thread to even up the distance. And otherwise, the wing is gonna get pushed up. So I think it looks good. So now we're gonna build the wing and then uh, continue the video. I took the opportunity to add the GC middle wing um, and I also just finished building the wing so time to set that one. I'm just gonna pair it. the wing so time to tie it in it's gonna do this really slow Yeah. Bring in place exactly what I wanted it. Tackle downwards a little, a little bit. Looking good. Straight on. So just waxing the thread. A few wraps. I'm going to put a little bit of varnish before I start with the sides. So what we need to add is uh, mallard on the sides and then uh, we need to add some uh, Cotinga substitute, kingfisher, pitta, whatever. Just 
starting with the mallard first. So I just sel select a piece of mallard. Mallard in place there, as you can see. So now time for the side. Selecting another stripe. The opposite side. down almost got stuck in the hook there so mallard on yet again a little bit of varnish oh sorry uh, wax There we go. So GC on the sides and then I almost forgot that one. Uh, let me see. So GC. There we are, got one. Just prepare to tie it in, so I'm gonna cut the sides of it. in on that side so let's find a nice one for the other one Same there, just cutting the sides off that you don't want to have on. Just need to 
go down a few fibers that are in the way. Touch it. With the varnish. Let's pull that one a bit. Yes, it more aligned. Let's continue substitute time. We'll do your side first. placement there's a hack in the way there we go and adding then same substitute on my side Just gonna varnish a bit and then it's time for the topping so I'm gonna stop the video shortly just for a little bit prepare a topping and then we add that one up on this fly then uh, to add the uh, topping so prepare the topping hopefully it's gonna be okay We can see so. Had to use a longer topping that I changed the length of, uh, not ideal. Uh, I need to clean a few more uh, heads to get more toppings in different sizes. I'm running low. this one so just 
Dang it, team. Have a look and feel to it. Spot on. There you go. So I'm just gonna finish off the head then and uh, um, add some varnish, uh, clear one and black one, and then take a picture. That's it. Fly is done. Uh, ho I hope you like the pattern. Uh, not seen it tied before. Uh, a bit rare, uh, interesting. Uh, it was fun to do it. Uh, so make sure to subscribe to uh, my uh, channel uh, so you're gonna see uh, all the other flies I'm gonna tie. Uh, I tie um, Spady, Classics, uh, Married Wing, Mixed Wing, uh, Scandinavian Tubes. I'm gonna pick up a bit when it's time for fishing. Um, yeah, that's basically it for today. So and sure to stay safe and uh, see you soon. Bye.